Too many people too close together, and that's a bit of a problem for Dallas County. They say that folks are out there hitting the, the trails in record numbers, which is a good thing that people are getting exercise, but perhaps they're a little too close together. Jen joins us now live with what Dallas County may do and because some of these people are out and jumbled up and, and too close together. Jen. Yeah, that's exactly what their concern is, Russ. The whole point of social distancing is to stay six feet away from the other people around you, not breathe the same air they're breathing. But that's become an issue in a lot of spots around Dallas, not just inside, but outdoors as well. When they checked out the Katy Trail in White Rock Lake over the weekend, county officials found the paths were packed with people. To mitigate traffic, you're going to start to see some code enforcement, ticketing, and some cases for people who do not comply with social distancing. The sites will remain open for now, but Dallas Parks and Rec will be putting up barricades at many entrances and limiting vehicle traffic. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins says they don't want to shut everything down, but public health comes before amenities. They're sacrificing, uh, like our seniors. Uh, who are doing everything they can so that this doesn't uh, visit them. Like the small businesses that are shut down uh, and their employees that are without work who are um, so hopeful as I am and as we all are that this nightmare will end soon and that we will be able to get back to, to our, our lives and uh, doing our jobs. And of course, it may not be a big issue today with rain in the forecast. Here at the American Airlines Center, the drive up coronavirus testing site will be closed for today, along with the site at the Ellis Davis Fieldhouse in Oak Cliff because of the potential for bad weather. Both of these locations, though, will reopen tomorrow. They'll be open tomorrow from 8 to 5. And if you'd like a list of all of the parks, rec areas around Dallas County where you can get out, maybe spread out a little bit more, we've got that at CBSDFW.com. Live in Dallas, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News.